Will, did you hear about this uh, controversy? It's a big controversy going on. Did you hear uh, about it? About the Z Flip? Glass. Folding glass. Is it folding glass? Uh -huh. What is glass? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, Samsung came out when the thing started, when they when they announced it. They said, yeah, it's the first. It's folding glass. I mean, they had a special name for it. Mm -hmm. I felt it. I was like, mm, glass? It feels all right. I mean, coming from this one, the original folding, you know, the Galaxy Fold, I was like, it does feel a little different, but it still kind of felt like plastic. Felt a little better, but still kind of felt like plastic. So I was wondering to myself, where is this glass? And then Jerry Rigg did the video disputing the glass finding or, or suggesting maybe it wasn't it wasn't glass. And so then you had the makings of, well, the, the makings of a controversy in the tech world, mm. which, as you know, mm -hmm. you get a, if you get if you have a controversy in the tech world. You have a couple views coming at you. Mm -hmm. uh, now, The Verge found out about it, and I know you know people feel a certain way about The Verge, but I I think this article is a uh, is is fairly. Uh, uh, what would you say? Um, uh, comprehensive. Okay. You like the word comprehensive? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good one. Thorough. Yeah, comprehensive. Yeah. is the one I wanted. Uh, Sean, Sean Hollister on The Verge, comprehensive write-up, folding glass, how, why, and the truth of Samsung's Z Flip. So he gets in the mix himself. He, he puts himself right in between the, the controversy side of it, the, 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 the speculation that there's no glass present. And Samsung saying they have something which they were calling, what were they calling? UTG, ultra thin glass. They had a name for it, UTG. <laughs> Woo! That's what they did in the boardroom. Someone wrote UTG. Yeah. Someone wrote UTG on a chalkboard. Yeah. And then the CEO of Samsung went, <laughs> Woo! It happened. I had a. And then everyone started clapping. Yeah, someone sent me the clip. Yeah. Someone sent me the clip. Samsung made it sound like it had invented a new proprietary form of glass, and the company even dubbed it Samsung Ultra Thin Glass. We've done the impossible and created ultra thin glass that folds, the company's presentation claimed, adding that it protects your screen from scratches. Of course, guy like you, Will, you sit there and think to yourself, you know, the other day, I was in my kitchen, as I would be if I was me. And I dropped something made of glass, and it shattered into a billion pieces, and it's terrifying and terrible. Did you? No, I didn't. You did, if, if I was a guy like you. Oh. Yeah. In your own kitchen, yeah. as you would be. Glass doesn't seem like a thing that should bend. Mm -hmm. And so you start to ask questions, don't you? You start to wonder. Mm. But you've got companies out there. You've got companies like Corning. They claim anything is possible. Hmm. And they also claim everything is awesome. Really? <laughs> I don't know why saying anything is possible reminded me of everything is awesome. I have no idea why. Look at Corning. They got the gorilla uh, hand. So <laughs> yeah. it's got to be It's got to be serious. Yes. Talking about glass, but you got a gorilla hand. It's got to be serious. Now, Corning didn't actually make this product for Samsung. It's another company, a German company called Scott, but not spelled the way you expect it to be spelled, Will. Mm. Spelled S-C-H-O-T-T, -T, Scott. Mm. Scott. That's how it's spelled. But the findings within the comprehensive article here and the interviews that took place, and they went to Scott themselves, and they talked to Corning, Shout out Sean Hollister, speaking to all these people. You can bend anything, Will. Anything. Really? You just need to get it thin enough. 
to bend. You need to get those microns down. Now, I know you get the background. You're a man of many backgrounds, and I know this. Like an onion. You got, you, you got to peel the layers to find out about Willie Do the whole story. Mm-hmm. But yesterday, we're shooting a video two days ago, and all of a sudden, oh, you know, back in my day in the CNC background, yeah. back when I was manufacturing. The milling and, and the tools and uh, the lathes. Back when I was in the operating room, <laughs> yeah. you know, Forrest Gump over here. Yeah. Shrimp boats. Yeah. Back when I was in the military. Yeah. Back when I was running for president. Uh, ping pong champion. <laughs> So they say, look, we got to get it real thin. And you know what Samsung said? They said, let's do it. Because we want to say we got some glass over here. So make it real thin for us. But then Dr. Matthias Midlack of Scots said, hey, just so you know, you make this thing super duper thin so it can bend the way we want. There's a bit of a drawback here. Tell you what. Well, that drawback is it only takes a teeny tiny scratch to disrupt the integrity of something that's that thin. You see that, Will? It's not, oh, that scratch is bothering me. It's such an eyesore. What a nuisance. No, 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 no. It's a pre-crack. Every single scratch is a pre-crack because it's so thin. It can turn in, it can turn into a real problem for you. Yeah. Like a house of cards situation, eh? Mm, who knows where a small scratch may lead. Very dramatic here. Find out next time. <laughs> yeah, ba- yeah, basically that's what it was. So you know what Samsung said? They said, okay, we want to say it's glass. We love the properties of glass. The humans, they love the glass. Mm-hmm. So do the gorillas. Mm-hmm. We take the glass that's thin, and then we put another layer on it. Guess what we're going to make that layer out of? It ain't going to be glass. Mm-hmm. We can't coat glass in glass, so we're going to put a little screen protector on there. Similar to what we've seen in the past, and now you're back to touching plastic. Yeah. And you're back to scratching plastic, and you're back to sticking your fingernail in plastic. Yeah. Is this better or worse? I can tell you from the limited amount of time that I had with it up until this point that it does feel a little better bit more robust than this than the straight up plastic display but it's not going to have the attributes of glass when you touch it it may have some attributes of glass when you look at it of course glass is nicer to look at so now you you had to answer the question is it glass well i don't know the thing you're touching is not exactly glass but there is some glass in there Mm -hmm. so you decide how offended you actually are at all that uh, I would say, practically speaking, it's it's better to have the protector on there to save people from uh, getting that scratch, which eventually leads to some sort of issue with the integrity of it. Mm-hmm. But maybe you got to be more clear to people that, hey, you, you're touching plastic, even though you got a little glass underneath it there. Uh, now, another uh, interesting finding here or statement coming from Corning, so not the manufacturer of Samsung's uh, display tech here, display covering. They say it's only a matter of time. They say we're working on the micron level right now. They say we're already talking to manufacturers. We're going to bend glass that you can touch, sir. They didn't put the sir part in there. But I was just, you know. Paraphrasing. Yeah, I was just trying to you know make the point yeah okay here and so they say they say it's all that they're gonna get something rolled out really soon here and the folding glass that's folding glass you're looking at it right now in the article now i should also say one more thing scott says that glass won't break down like plastics naturally do over time and they say there's greater optical clarity so it's not just about your fingernail your car keys and so forth the little dust particles and things like that. There's other uh, aspects to it. So, like I said, you figure out how offended you actually are. Uh, for me, it's 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 six of one and half a dozen of another. Hmm. 
God. Wow. 